If you've ever had someone that you thought was a friend all of a sudden turn their back on you and you realize, hey, they really weren't my friend, today is for you. We've been talking about the pride that we tend to have and how we tend to get into a position we think that we are the one because Obadiah has shared that with us. But what happened in this book is that all of a sudden there's a change, a shift that takes place because people get to the point of being so arrogant and so full of themselves that they can't see the things going on around them. Obadiah is saying to the people here, hey, you need to be careful because the people that you think are your friends, the people you think are close, really aren't nearly as close as you think that they are. And so he's trying to give them a warning because what he is trying to do is to push them back to saying, you need to put God first. We need to find people who love the Lord first because they're going to take us to God's word. We need then to have a person that not only loves the Lord, but loves us no matter what. No matter what it is that we do, no matter where it is that we struggle. And the last thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that that person has our best interest at heart. See, Obadiah had the people's best interest at heart and they were getting a little bit puffed up and caring a little bit too much about themselves and not the other people that were around them. They were more concerned about where they live, the things that they had and how they were protected by this creation and they were losing focus on the Creator. Think about all those different areas because it's so important that we have those people around us and at the same time that we're recognizing God in each and every step. And we'll talk more tomorrow.